Hey friends, it's Monday and you've just got me today. Uh, Jeremy went for a surf on the weekend and he's not as young as he thought he was. <laughs> so it's just me. And tonight we're talking about mold. I don't even have the music, so there's no, let's talk about mold, baby. Let's talk about you and me because I forgot to get any way of making music. So mold, that's what we're talking about. Now, when my girls were little, um, I basically, Tegan, my youngest daughter, I used to pick her up and people used to say to me that they could hear her chest rattling. It was that bad. And everyone said, oh, you really should get her checked out from a doctor. It sounds like she's got pneumonia or, you know, like all kinds of respiratory stuff. So I took her to the doctors and the doctor actually said to me that, um, look, we think that, um, you know, these look like asthmatic symptoms and, she, you know, she's only young. So, you know, she might develop asthma when she's older. And I kind of freaked out. And um, I remembered when I was a kid that I had a steam vaporizer in my room when I was a kid and that I thought um, I'll get a steam vaporizer because that will help with her breathing. Like surely that steam opens up your lungs and you know, I couldn't have been far further from the truth. Um, so only after probably a few weeks of using it, um, I started to notice that there was like, all the walls were really damp. Like so that I it was like, cause the steam, um, you know, gets on all the walls. And then the next minute what happened was we started to develop mold, okay? Now there's all different kinds of mold, different color molds, you know, obviously mold makes penicillin and all that kind of stuff. And mold affects different people in different ways. So if you're healthy, um, you can, you know, be around mold a lot and you don't have any effects at all. But for most people, um, it can cause all kinds of things like a runny nose, a blocked nose, it can cause, um, I just, I just, um, Jeremy, can you just check that I went live in Team Valor? I hope so. Um, I, it can cause all kinds of problems um, to your respiratory, and particularly if you've got a child who's already susceptible to asthma and things like that, then you, uh, you know, it's, it's 10 times worse having the mold in your house. So I wanted to get rid of the mold um, because not only was it starting to be on the walls, but it was behind the cupboard. Like when we moved the cupboard out, we noticed that there was like a, basically a whole wall of mold. And then when we went around, looked around the windows, um, there was mold on all the window sills. It was behind the curtains. It was even underneath the cot and on the back of the cot where the cot was touching against the wall. And I was like, oh, I really need to do something about this. This is terrible. So first thing I did was ditch the steam vaporizer because um, that was the major cause. I mean, our house was damp as it was, but that was certainly adding to the moisture because mold needs a few things uh, in order to grow. So obviously it needs um, the moisture. It needs some kind of porous um, substance to grow on. So that's why it loves walls, like particularly, you know, walls in your house and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, you, it sort of likes areas where there's no ventilation and no natural sunlight. And so Tegan's room was on the southern side of the house. Um, that was, you know, the dampest area of our house. And that was why the mold, you know, it was ideal conditions for growing mold. So um, what we did was we got ourselves one of these. Now, this is really old school. Um, I'm going to show you because at the moment you can still get these. <laughs> um, this is one of the old school diffusers. When Young Living first started, they actually, um, these were the diffusers that you got back then. Um, I'm just going to pick the pump off off the floor. Um, it's kind of got a fish tank pump. And the reason why these are so good for diffusing in areas where there's been mold is because they don't have any moisture, okay? The worst thing you can do if you've already got mold in your house or your house is damp is to add more moisture, okay? And because I live in an area where there's high rainfall, I reckon it's rained here where we live more days this year than it has not rained. Like it's just so damp, everything's damp. Um, it really, it, like you can feel when you get into bed at night that the sheets already feel damp and things like that. And it's just because there's so much moisture in the air from all the rain. So we have a dry diffuser. So the difference between dry diffusers and the cold air um, ultrasonic diffusers is they, the normal ones, like you think about the lantern, the aria, the raindrop, all of the rainstone, they are all ultrasonic diffusers and they take water and the water and oil mixed together and turn into a microfine mist. And that works by 
by the little silver plate in the bottom of it, vibrating at a really, really strong um, speed, and it turns it into a um, moisture, like the, the tiny little air particles. This doesn't have any water added. So basically what happens, um, Young Living sells a couple of different old, um, a couple of different atomizing diffusers. Now, this is another one, and you would have heard me talk previously about this one, which is the Aromalux. But the problem is the Aromalux at the moment is actually out of stock. So that's why I thought I would show you this one, because you can still get this. It's in the miscellaneous section in virtual office. So when you go in to update your order, if you go into miscellaneous, it's called a diffuser complete and you can get it in the green, which is this color, or you can get it in bronze. So there's two different colors. Um, it's hidden away. <laughs> I don't know why it's in that section, but it is. Um, but it's great for diffusing in areas where there's a lot of damp. So normally I'd recommend this one, but as this one's out of stock at the moment, um, you can use the this diffuser complete. So um, the, you can get yourself a bottle of thieves oil, so you can either use the 15 mil, sorry, the 5 mil or the 15 mil. And what happens is it's kind of like a little maze, like you can see, it reminds me of a mouse hunt, if you like. So what happens is you put the oil into here, so you can either drip the oil straight into that hole, but what I like to do is to actually put my bottle without the lid, but you leave the dripper on it so that it drips out upside down in here. So what I did in Tegan's bedroom, was I went in and I wiped off all the mold I could see with the thieves cleaner and then I diffused so we took her out of the room for a few days she was only young and we got her sleeping in our room because I diffused I swear for probably three to four days solid uh, the thieves oil and I just this was the diffuser that I had so I know that's why it works and I just sat the bottle up I'm pretty sure I used a 15 mil sat it upside down and it dripped into this little well and then it gets sucked up into this glass nebulizer type thing and it kind of has to go on like a little bit of a journey it looks like a maze or something like that if you can see that it goes and when it does that it comes out the top as a mist a microfine mist just like your other diffusers but there's no moisture so it's not going to feed the mold um, like uh, you know one of the cold ultrasonic diffusers will do because it's not adding any moisture so Get yourself some Thieves Household Cleaner um, and, you know, an ultrasonic diffuser and you're set, okay? They're it's a really, really good buy. I absolutely, uh, I think it's about $175. Um, I used to lend them out, but I don't know. I borrowed this one off Lindell this afternoon because I couldn't find mine. Um, but as I say, all one of these, uh, particularly if you're in areas like we are where it's damp. Um, it, and I love the Thieves oil. You'll hear Shannon Lush, she'll talk about oil of cloves all the time. Um, what I love about Thieves is you don't only get the oil of cloves, but you get cinnamon, eucalyptus, rosemary, and lemon as well. So it's kind of like, uh, it packs a major punch when it comes to you know diffusing in areas where you've got a lot of mold. So clean it off with the Thieves um, cleaner. Uh, you can dilute, dilute it. I certainly, you know, have used it neat um, to clean areas of mould and mildew or I've used it uh, made up in the spray. You need to get to it as soon as possible. So as soon as you start to see black mould, you need to get in and wipe it off and then start diffusing because the mould spores are actually airborne. And these is a great way to purify the air uh, if you've got airborne mould and bacteria. It's absolutely the best um, for diffusing for that. Um, and boy, I'm saying um a lot. It's because I haven't got Jeremy here to <laughs> bounce ideas off. Uh, there was one other thing I was going to say. Oh, and if you've got mold in grout and the areas like that, uh, I get some bicarb soda and some thieves oil and I mix it up into a paste. I might add a few drops of vinegar or even water and I get a toothbrush and I clean my grout with the bicarb soda, thieves oil and vinegar. Because the thing about, a lot of people use bleach and traditionally I probably would have read, reached for bleach as well. But bleach, bleach is actually an alkaline solution. So it cleans the top layer off the mold, but it leaves the 
spores it kind of like bleaches the mold so then you can't see it anymore but all those mold spores are still there living in the porous substance that they're growing on so they come back all the time so you know when i used to clean my shower in days gone by i would use i would use bleach and i'd continually be wiping it every three weeks it'd be coming back whereas now that i've learned that you know not to use an alkaline solution like bleach um i you know i've used the thieves cleaner in my shower and in my uh, you know as i say the thieves oil with bicarb soda in the grout there is one trick you can't use it underneath silicon so if you've already got the mold growing underneath the silicon seal around your bath or your shower or something like that it's virtually impossible to get it out of there um you do need to strip the silicon back clean it with the thieves oil because it's got the clove in it and then reseal it with your um with your silicon so Anyway, they're my tips for mold. I've got a few other ways of getting rid of mold um, from different substances uh, in this month's newsletter, which is hopefully coming out tomorrow. I wasn't gonna get it out today, but I ran out of time tonight. Uh, so you will hear all about the um, you know, diffusing oil, uh, diffusing the thieves oil in a dry diffuser and cleaning mold, but I've got a few other tips as well. So check out this month's Making Sense newsletter and I, Actually, I was going to say I'll see you next week, but I won't. We have a special guest next week. I will be at my daughter's state swimming championships in Sydney. So Jeremy, hopefully if he can recover from his um, surfing injuries, <laughs> uh, we'll be back in the chair and he will be interviewing a guest speaker. So thanks everyone and we will see you soon. Bye.